If you want to win this jet, all you have to do is subscribe, click the notification bell, and the like button. Then check back with me from time to time and see my new videos. Once we get to a thousand, we're going to do a drawing. I had a drawing at 100 and only 30% signed up. With those odds, it could be a 1 in 300 chance. Subscribe. Check me out, guys. Hey, YouTube. It's Sean Griffin RC Planes. My second new E-Flight Night Timber X. And before I put it together, I'm going to paint a, a coat of polycrylic over the entire plane everywhere. And especially where you put the wings together, especially where the wings mount on top of the fuselage, especially in the battery compartment where the where the lid, the door goes, and where your fingers are, and where you're tightening the Velcro, and especially in the wear areas, because this gives it some longevity. I've painted this over all my planes, and you can definitely tell the difference on how this stuff just makes it last longer and look a lot better. It just uh, it, it just gives it another another layer of uh, of protection, you know, especially in the battery compartment areas. Those places seem to wear out uh, the most, and when they do, they start to look really bad. You know, the, the battery doors look so good when, when you get them and they fit perfect, and then, you know, a couple months later, all the corners are rounded and, and stuff. So get a good coat around this, and that's just a, that's just a little more protection. You know, if it's, if it's going to wear out in a month, maybe it'll wear out in a month and a half now. This stuff here is... 20 bucks for a quart. I'll show you when I open it up, but I would imagine it's probably half full and I've painted at least six planes with it. And uh, you know, so it so it lasts. It 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 uh it goes the mile. So, anyways, little throwaway sponge brushes or even a regular brush and uh make sure the lid is on good. Give it a good little shake -a plastic lid and this the, the polycrylic will dry around the edges and it'll make it hard to seal the lid back so wait till it dries and then you can peel off which is almost like a plastic you know like that and then you'll be able to close it back so anyways we got these little throwaway uh, brushes or this brush and uh, you know, there's no, there's nothing to it, and it's just you know, just like that. Let me give you a couple of close-ups. All right, so Minwax makes it polycrylic, and it's a uh, milky-looking uh, substance, but it dries clear. And we've got one of the elevator halves right here, and you just gently brush this on and uh, when, when you're when you're doing it it's easier to see you know that, that you have your coat evenly it might be kind of tough for you guys but but you just want to get it get it even and put a light little coat over it and that's all and it goes a long ways and it dries rather quick just like so give you a little shot of the fuselage here in the in the battery uh, compartment you don't want to get any of your wires you know the, the connection points so I've actually got just a little little tiny brush here and in these corners you know right where the right where the lid you know goes down in here cover everything it just you will you will really appreciate it if, if you do this this makes things last so much longer and then and then definitely 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 a thin coat I'm actually gonna unscrew the cowl but I'm just showing you guys a couple little little spots Like so. 
Well, I changed into into work attire, and I've already completely covered the entire bottom and both sides of the fuselage with the polycrylic, except for right around here where it's sitting in the plane stand. And once it, once it's completely dried, I'll move it forward and get that, you know. But now is a good time to check all your screws. Since I took the cowl off so I could put the, uh, paint the polycrylic on the inside and the outside and around in here. Go ahead and check your motor screws while you're here, you know. Make sure they're tight. So far all, all those felt good. A little more difficult doing it for you guys to be able to see it. All oh, these feel tight. Spin your motor, you know. Just just check things while you're while you're here, you know. Look at this. This little adapter has a different color red wire instead of orange. Also, it's just definitely different. The center wire for the for the data is black instead of gray. So I guess uh, I guess they got a shortage. You know the the timber that I had uh, you know a week ago. It had a different adapter. The adapter here matched the ESC wires. The orange and everything was the same, and the gray. Interesting, interesting. So, anyways, polycrylic. I've been. Getting it all over, a little, little longevity. I've gotten the inside of the battery compartment on that side, and then once it dries, then I'll flip the wires and the Velcro to that side, and then I'll get this side, and then do your do your battery door real good. I haven't done this one yet, and uh, and then we'll do the wings. Got her flipped over now. So we can get the. Get the top side. See, it's kind of milky. And when it dries, you can see the the milkiness on the on the black uh, hood right here. When it dries, I'll make sure you guys just see what it looks like afterwards. And all around the top where the where the wings go for sure, you know, in anywhere, anywhere you're going to be touching it, or, or you know, just like I talked about in the battery compartment, where the wings go and all that, just a little longevity. Looking good, looking good. All right, so it's dried up here on the black part. Look at that shine. So the, the milky color goes away when it dries. Got the entire fuselage done, and now I'm about to do the wings. So until next time, you'll see me here. Thank you, guys.